This is the book of Psalm 117 and 1. Oh, praise the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al This is the book of 1 Samuel 18 and 5. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war. And he was accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. And with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son in whom the world is ignorantly called Jesus Christ in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and some Indians, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers, a great millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know. The name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son. To call upon and be saved in these last and troubling days. To call upon their true and proper names. Names of power. Names of might. Ancient names. Names that are feared. Terrible names. Awesome names. Majestic names. Holy names. These be the names written. Given double honors. Unto my apostles and my elders at Great Millstone are the ruling well and continue to do so that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with those names, the names of our father and of his only begotten son, our savior, our king and our brother. Now these be the names written. The name of the heavenly father is Yahweh. Yah, meaning he, Hawa, meaning exists or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He, the existing one, and in the name of his only begotten son, which has a name, who bears a name, which is above every name, given amongst men here on earth to the Israelite man first, and also to the believers, consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets and those that have faith to call upon that name, that glorious name, that precious name, being Yahawashai, Yah, meaning he, Yahawashai, meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what he will come and do for the second time in physical form yet as an angelic force. For we shall see him as he is and we shall be like him. Fashioning a body like unto his glorious body and entering into great and exceeding precious promises. Through his blood, we enter into that new covenant. It is a down payment for us to enter into that new covenant. Lord's willing, I'm one of those men and that I be of those first fruits that will not taste the second death, nuclear fire, but enter into an everlasting kingdom through our Lord and our Savior, the captain and finisher of our faith, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the son of Yahweh. And now that you know the name of the Father and Son, call upon these names when you pray. You must call upon these names when you pray. Call upon these names when you bless a brother or sister in the faith. Call upon these names when you are in distress and you will see the power thereof. Only in faith can you see the true power thereof. For without faith, it is impossible to please our power. So with that, those one, this is an edifying lesson. And Lord's one, I call this lesson. Having a sound mind, count your blessings. And I, you know, I coined this from uh, the beautiful brother, the elder Barak Allah, in our camp out here in Los Angeles, though we have been disbanded in the spirit, we've been split up into smaller battalions and groups to push further out this word. Praise ye Yahweh Bashim Ashai for it. Because, oh, praise the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Ashai, all ye nations. We're speaking unto all nations, though only one nation, the nation of Israel, will be saved and rescued and blessed beyond belief. But yet we speak unto all nations because the God of our fathers raised up our Lord Yahweh Shai to be a prince and a savior for us. Okay, and through that, this man, 
Yahusha HaMashiach, the anointed. HaMashiach meaning the anointed in our language. Ha meaning the Mashiach, meaning anointed or the Messiah. He will bring peace to the earth and he will end the wars. He would make wars to cease to the ends of the earth. All right. And ultimately the war between us and death. Will we have victory over him and over the grave? Will we laugh at, you know, where is thy, uh, 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 <laughs> where is thy victory, O grave? Where is uh, your sting, O death? And it's only going to be said in the mouths of the elect and on down to their children, which will be the two thirds that have died and the innumerable multitude of Israelites that shall be born in the ages to come. And we will all say this very same saying, O grave, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? Because our nation will never die, ever. Because we will enter into, etern into eternal life through our Lord and our Savior at the behest of the Heavenly Father that we will be an image of his own eternity. Now this is verse 2. For his merciful kindness. Why? Because he sent his son we deserve death more than, you know, we're all worthy of death. We're all worthy of punishment. But the Lord, through his merciful kindness, have sent unto us his son. He have sent unto us his son. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord, Yahweh, woo, which was expressed through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, woo, and the truth of Yahweh Bashiba Shah endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. And through the truth, what happened? We were free. Freed. Truth. Grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. John 1 and 14. The book of St. John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. John 1 and 17. St. John 1 and 17, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Okay, let's get to truth. Set you free. So I can set you free. We, we're going to get those sure mercies of David. Lord's willing, I'm one of those men. John 8 and 36, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. <whistles> Sit. John 8 and 32, and ye shall know the truth, eh, the truth of the Heavenly Father, what we just read in Psalm. And we know the truth of Yahweh. We know the and the truth of Yahweh endureth forever. And who, and who is that truth? What is that truth? His only begotten. Through him all things uh, should consist. And, all, and in him all things should dwell. John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. We know Yahweh Shai. We see Yahweh Shai. And we shall see him as he is. As John said. We shall see him as he is. Let me get that real quick. Boom. We're going to go into David. And that why he's going to get a, an everlasting kingdom. Because he was merciful. Mercy that was showed upon him. Him he showed upon others. And he only did what the Lord told him to do. It's just like what we're doing. We're only doing what the Lord told us to do. And we are hated for it. But hey, praise you the Lord, whatever. Our enemies will be many. But hey, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. First John 3 and 1. Behold what manner of love the Father bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Who? who? You can't know the Father if you don't know the Son. But if you know the Son, you know the Father. For the express image of the invisible power is his Son, who shines in our hearts, who has made propitiation for us, who has made an atonement for us, who has become our Passover. It says, Be beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, who? Yahweh shall Mashiach, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that have this hope, the expectation in him, purifieth himself, even as he is pure. It said, The pure in heart shall see. Woo! 
Yahweh. Man, let me get that. Okay. Pure. Ooh, man. Praise the Lord. Man. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai. Ooh. Man. Call all you blind. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Oh, man. The sure mercies of David. Let me get that. Sure mercies. That's what we need. We need sure mercies. You know? Mm. Acts 13 and 34. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Beautiful. Let's read up a little beyond into that. Now, this is Acts 13 and 30, but Yahweh raised him from the dead. And he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, the gospel, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the patriarchs and their children after them, Yahweh have fulfilled the same unto us, their children. Woo, there, there it is. That's the point. In that he have raised up Yahweh Shai again, as it is also written in the second Psalm, a hey, Psalm 2, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And David knew of that. Hence, we shall receive those sure mercies of David, because we understand it too. Praise ye the Lord. Because upon the rock, which is Peter, who is David, if you can receive it, did the Lord build his church, begin the congregation, the gathering of the Israelites, the calling out. Wisdom crieth in the streets. She uttered her voice saying unto the sons of men, all right? She calleth unto the sons of men, us, all right, to rise up. As Yahweh Shai called out, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, all right? Because through him will we uh, gain eternal life. Those that believe in him shall have eternal life, and those that believe not are condemned already. So belief is a gift. Faith is a gift. Belief is a beautiful thing. It is the key to everything. For Yahweh Shai is the doorway back to the Father. You see that? Now this is uh, Acts 13 and 33. Yahweh have fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he have raised up Yahweh Shai again, as it is also written in the second Psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, because the Lord has that new body. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Man. Wherefore, he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. That was Yahweh Shai not being uh, left in the tomb, but he rose. All right. And he fulfilled that prophecy. He is the resurrection. He rose from the dead and through him we rise. And even in this dead estate in our spirit, the Lord's spirit quickened us that we're dead in trespasses and sins. And even our brothers that are physically dead and their works do follow them, transferring into the spirit realm, they will rise first. When the Lord returns, all right, sitting in great seats of power, the thrones of the house of David, all right, that's what Yahweh Shai promised the disciples that they would sit on thrones, judging the 12 tribes. This is Acts 13 and 36 for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of Yahweh. Oh, man, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. He served his own generation <laughs> by the will of Yahweh. We're serving our generation by the will of Yahweh. And David came back in this time, if you can receive it. It says, for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of Yahweh, fell on sleep, which means he died. It was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. See, his body was decayed and went away. And that's a curse, death. But we're soon going to say, O grave, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? Because we're going to fashion a body like unto our Lord's glorious body. Verse 37, but he... Whom Yahweh raised again saw no corruption. Yahweh Shai, because he's the firstborn of death. It says, Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Hey, to have a sound mind. Hey, you know, we, we are uh, truly blessed. To have a sound mind, be ye thankful. Should we not be thankful for this? <laughs> All right, verse 39, and by him, all that believe 
are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses, the first covenant. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. You, OK, so you don't want to do that, which we're not supposed to do. Do not deny Yahweh, the one that they all spoke about. OK, as Jude said, um, uh, uh, he's going to come back with 10,000 of the saints uh, taking vengeance on all those for what they have said, their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. You don't want to speak against the Lord as he was that angel in the wilderness that uh, uh, could not be spoken against because he had the name of the Lord with him. All right. Now, let's go into David. Since we want the sure mercies of David, let's go into David. Let me get it in the Old Testament, Isaiah 55 and 3. Incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Woo! Even the sure mercies of David. That's what Yahweh did through his sacrifice, through the blood. Call all your mind. We heard his voice. We heard the voice of our shepherd. The sheep heareth his voice and not another. Praise you the Lord. And if you can receive this, you are indeed an Israelite. And pray and praise the Heavenly Father that he have called you into his glorious gospel. Okay? That you have uh, transferred from death into life. You've crossed from death into life, into the marvelous light. First Samuel 18, 5. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him and behaved himself wisely. That's, that's the point. And Saul set him over the men of war. Because we're fighting a war spiritually. Or the weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but spiritual through the pulling down of strongholds. And we're winning the war. Praise ye Yahweh Hashem al Shai through his spirit. And he was accepted in the sight of all the people. We're accepted in the sight of the people. I mean, they know something about it. I mean, they may hate us, but they know there's something about us, beginning with our apostles and elders. They may not like us, but we're, but Israel is always in the mouth of everybody. But yet y'all hate us and we're whatever, or bugged out. But yet you hear us because what we're saying is prophecy. And as the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. It says, and he was accepted in the sight of all the people. And also in the sight of Saul's servants. Even in the sight of our enemies are we accepted. Because they know something about us. They know the truth of the thing. Psalm. I mean, so like in 1 Samuel, Psalm. Uh, getting into them Psalms. This is 1 Samuel 18 and 14. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. Yahweh Bashimashai was with him. 1 Samuel 18 and 15. Wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely... He was afraid of him. So us behaving ourselves very wisely and having a sound mind, even in this time. Being thankful. Great fear is falling upon our enemies and even our own people because they know, OK, the Lord is truly with them through our ups and our downs, through our daily uh, uh, trials. The Lord is with us. It says, wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him. See that? That's it, man. Even and look at this. Even our enemies uh, observed David's uh, wisdom, how wisely he moved. First Samuel 18 and 30. Then the princes of the Philistines went forth and it came to pass after they went forth that David behaved himself more wisely than all the servants of Saul so that his name was much set by. How about that? Mm. So like you for this car. It's, it's bugged out. All right, I'm back, Akim Salakia. Man, I got rid of that with that. Um, very wisely. Salakia, Satan is in the midst, being a demon as he always is. All right. Just some noise came out of nowhere, and then they didn't even go nowhere. Just being demons. But whatever. All right. Mm, Psalm 101 and 2. I will behave myself wisely in the perfect way. This is the perfect way. This truth. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within mine house with a perfect heart, with a perfect mind. Because in our minds, Yahweh Shai is shining in our hearts, as we can read in uh, 2 Corinthians. Okay. Let's go here. This is 1 Samuel 18 and 30. Let's go. To the NLT version, it says, every time the commanders of the Philistines attacked 
David was more successful against them than all the rest of Saul's officers. So David's name became very famous. And when our enemies attack us, they can't get in because Yahweh Bashem al Shai is our helper. Okay, he uh, covered our head in the day of battle. Let me get that. Day of battle. Okay. You have nothing to fear. Right. Boom. Down below, I'm going to get uh, fortress. Lord is everything we need. All right, this is the book of Psalm 140 and 7. Oh, power, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. What covers your head? A helmet. And what helmet do we have on the helmet of salvation? The Lord, the strength of our salvation. Just as David said, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Okay. Proverbs 21 and 31, the horse it's prepared against the day of battle because these, these nations are gearing up to come against us, but the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them. But safety is of the Lord. How about that? See that? All right. And that's pretty much it. Mm. All right. Now, this is the book of 2 Samuel 22 and 2. And he said, the Lord, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer man psalm 31 and 3 4 thou art my rock and my fortress therefore for thy name's sake lead me and guide me and that's what the lord is going to do in these troubled times he's going to be our guide leading us psalm 71 and 3 be thou my strong habitation whereunto i may continually resort thou hast given commandment to save me but thou art my rock and my fortune. Yeah, it's, it's written in the gospel. It's written in, in our law that the Lord is going to save us. He's never forsaken those that have called upon him. Let's get that. Confound it. Let me get that. Okay. Confound it. Boom. All right. I'm going to go to the Apocrypha. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Man, Ecclesiastes 15 and 4, he shall be stayed upon her, going into wisdom, and shall not be moved, and shall rely upon her, and shall not be confounded. Man, Ecclesiastes 24 and 22. He that obeyeth me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. Hey, we're working the works of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, my burden is easy and my uh, yoke is light. Okay, we only do what we can do through Yahweh Bashim Shai. Ecclesiastes 51 and 18, for I purpose to do after her, going into the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And earnestly I followed that which is good, so shall I not be confounded. There it is. Man, so we're not going to be confounded. We're falling after that, which is good. And it reads on. She shall exalt him above his neighbors. A, the sure mercies of David. David was uh, uh, known among the commanders of the Philistines more than any other, any other officer of Saul. We're known in the heavens and upon the earth. Lord's willing were those men. As Yahweh said, don't you know, be happy that you have power over the demons and, and spirits, but that your names are written in heaven. How about that? We have this treasure in earthen vessels. It says, she said, I'll exalt him above his neighbors and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. <clears throat> Us testifying our Savior openly, speaking the word, prophesying, glorifying the Lord. Yahweh Shai and all that he does. He shall find joy in a crown of gladness. And she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. How about that? It says, we shall see the Lord as he is. We it, it, now we become the sons of God, as uh, John said. We know not what we shall be, but when he shall appear, who? Yahweh Shai, who has a greater name than all of us, the greatest name given amongst men, we're going to be right there with him, having great names as well under him, knowing that we knew him. You know, that's why I said the, the names of the disciples are going to be written in Jerusalem on, on the gates, if I'm not mistaken. A spirit of foolish men shall not attain unto her and sinners shall not see her. For she is far from pride, and men that are liars cannot remember her. You see that? 
man. It says, praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner, for it was not sent him of the Lord. A, but A, we were once sinners and the Lord have cleansed us. We are praising the Lord for a sound mind. Be ye thankful or thankful for all we have uh, to, to be content. What a man hath has a sweet life. Let me get that. Lord's one after I read this. It says, For praise shall be uttered in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper it. See, see, praise is going to be uttered in wisdom, and we know wisdom is Yahweh Shai. Praise shall be uttered in Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Barakatha, we're praising the Heavenly Father through his Son for his glory, his greatness. Okay? Sweet life. Let's get that. <clears throat> Sweet life. All right. Is Ecclesiastes 40 and 18. To labor and to be content with that a man hath is a sweet life. But he that findeth the treasure is above them both. And we have this treasure and earthen vessels. Let me get that. Got to get. I kept quoting it. And the spirit is like, no, you got to get it now. Shoot. That, that was a setup for it. Now you have to get it. Go on. Now, this is the book of Psalm 91 and 2. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. Man, Psalm 144 and 2, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Man, that's it. The Lord does all these things. Psalm. 18 and 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. So we're we're away from danger because we're in a high tower. A buckler is a um is a defensive and offensive weapon. I think a buckler is like a shield with the bump on the end. So you can uh deflect, block, because it's a shield, and then you can push off and break. Spears, other shields, uh, uh, habergens, which are, uh, you know, uh, spears, javelins, swords, shields, helmets, anything. You know, if you want to push forward, like, bah, you could just break, you know, uh, the line. That's a buckler. So the horn represents power. So the power of our salvation is Yahweh Bashimashai. He's our rock, our foundation, our fortress, a place where we uh, hide in. And are protected, our deliverer, he gets us out of situations. Our strength, he's the one that gives us the strength to, to go on. Courage. Courage is not the absence of fear, it is the presence of fear, yet the will to go on, because we have given power to that which we fear, Yahabash Mashai, and he shall reveal himself unto us. And that's it, and carry us through. Praise ye the Lord. All right? Man, that was it. All right. It says, and my high tower. And a high tower is a vantage point. You can see everything round about, and you're high up, out of danger. That's what the name of Yahweh Shemashai is and has become for us. Okay? His uh, followers, the believers, the beloved ones. 2 Corinthians 4 and 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh Shemashai and not of us. Man. That's it. But let me read verse 5 through 7. Second Corinthians 4 and 5. For we preach not ourselves, but Mashiach Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. For Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts, our minds, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the expressed image of the power. You see that? Praise ye the Lord, all ye nations. Praise ye the Lord, all ye people. All right, as we start the lesson off in Psalm 117, which is one of the shortest psalms, if I'm not mistaken, but it, it says everything that needs to be said. Praise ye the Lord. And that we know and we have the truth of the Lord endure forever, and the truth of the Lord endure forever. And the truth of the Lord endure forever. See, begging bread. Let's get that begging bread. We're going to be all right. We'll never be without. Psalm 37 to 25. I have been young and now am old. 
Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. The Lord is going to give us that power. Loving kindness. Boom. Let's get a couple of those. Psalm 17 and 7. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand, the right hand of the heavenly Father is Yahweh Shai, them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. And that's what the Lord is going to do in our time. Psalm 36 and 7. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O power. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. Going into our ticket out of here, our ticket uptown, the chariots of Israel, the chariots of salvation. Psalm 36 and 10. Oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart and mind. You see that? That's it. Send unto my Lord. To my Lord. Because David knew of Yahweh Shai. He knew. And it's recorded in the psalm. In the Psalms, we have the sure mercies of David because why? We know him. We know him. Just as David knew him. All right. Bear with me, brothers. Okay. Okay. Bear with me, brothers. Bear with me, brothers. Hello, I said. Bear with me, brothers. I like you. Bear with me. Shalom, I my back. I found it. Praise ye the Lord. Barakatha Yahweh, Psalm 110 and 1, a Psalm of David. The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, another Lord that was before David, that was above David. And hence, we know that David was the king. So who's above him in Israel when he's the king, right? But he's talking about the heavenly father said unto a Lord above him. Who's that? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Sit thou at my right hand. Who's at the right hand of power? The Lord's son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our savior. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. And that's when the Lord will return and rescue us and set us with himself and put crowns upon our heads and set us upon thrones. And that we may inherit all that he inherits. We shall be joint heirs with him. Praise ye the Lord. Barakatha Yahweh, Bashim al Shai. I want to end it here in a fruitful garden. And Lord's willing, this was an edifying lesson just to pump brothers up and, and get you excited to praise our Lord and our Savior that he would come for us and bestow great and precious promises upon us. And Salakia is always Satan being a demon, always being a demon. Like, I don't get Jake. Jake is some clowns, man. But I'm on A. I'll listen to that music and I'll praise the Lord to, the, to those uh, instruments. All right. The hell with what this clown is saying. We're going to praise the Lord. All right, let's go to the Apocrypha. Here we go. All right, let's go to Ecclesiasticus. All right. Now, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus 40 and 17. Bountifulness is as a most fruitful garden, and mercifulness endureth forever. And that's of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And this is what we just read earlier. To labor and to be content with that a man hath is a sweet life. We're laboring in the Lord. And we're going to long enjoy the Work of our hands, the Lord's elect, being of the first fruits, the Lord's one on one of those men. But he that findeth the treasure is above them both. We know what that treasure is, this truth that is in our earthen vessels, that the excellency may be of Yahweh by Shimei Shai and not of us. All right, here we go. Let's start at 23. A friend and companion, a pen, uh, Salaki, a friend and companion never meet amiss because there's brotherly love. We have brotherly love. We have love towards Yahweh Shai and having love in Yahweh Shai. We have love toward the brethren that have Yahweh Shai in them because we are one body. And, and, and from that, praising the Lord our power with all our might, soul, mind, and loving our neighbor as ourselves, those within the truth. 
those within the congregation, the bracket, we fulfill all the law. A friend and companion never meet amiss, but above both is a wife with her husband. And we have sought out wisdom to be our wife, our spouse, as Solomon did. So there's nothing above that. But above both is a wife with her husband. And we're going to have that in abundance in the kingdom. But our wife now at this time, even if you have a lady, our wife at this time truly is wisdom. She loves us. All right. Because we know it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And he loved us. He first loved us. Yahweh Bashim Shai first loved us. Okay. It says, brethren and help are against time of trouble. And that's, that's true. Because we're coming into a time of trouble. True brothers are going to be seen. And false brethren are going to be seen as well. But I'm looking for the true brethren. The hell with the false brethren. We already know many of them are going to rise. And many of us are going to be hated. All of us. All those that trust in Yahweh Shai shall be hated for his namesake. But praise the Lord, the Lord is going to be our helper and rescuer. Brethren and help are against time of trouble, but alms shall deliver more than them both. Because uh, 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 alms deliver, uh, delivereth a multitude of sins, covereth a multitude of sins. Let me get that. Multitude. Because that's what we're trying to do, cover a multitude of sins. Even though Yahweh Shai did it, he did it. You know, we're still in the, we're still in that, uh, Humble spirit of a uh, you know, there's still more I can do. Multitude of sins. So I can okay. First Peter four and eight, and above all things, hey, and this is the spirit, because Peter denied the Lord uh <clears throat> three times. So he would know, I man, the Lord is merciful, he is ever kind, you know, to those that really look for him. Now, this is 1 Peter 4 and 8. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity, which is love, shall cover the multitude of sins. You see that? And those are alms, in a sense. But we show true and genuine, unfeigned love to the brothers and those that believe. Verse 25. Gold and silver make a foot stand sure, but the counsel is esteemed above them both. Why? Because money is a defense and wisdom is a defense. But when the money fails... What's going to be our defense? Wisdom. And that wisdom should give life to them that have it. The excellency of wisdom, which we know is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, shall give life, life more abundantly, to them that have it. Praise you the Lord. Riches and strength, we're rich. We're rich in faith. And we're strengthened in the Lord. He is our strength. It says riches and strength lift up the heart just in this regular physical realm. Lift up your mind. But the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem Shai, is above them both. There's no one in the fear of the Lord, no uh, lack in the fear of the Lord. And it needed not to seek help. The fear of the Lord, verse 27, is a fruitful garden. In a time of famine, you having your own, a garden, land, cattle, substance, are you you, you living? You, you, you. Hey, we're, we're the ultimate preppers in the spirit. We have it. Hey, the fear of the Lord is what? A fruitful garden. We have everything we need in the fear of the Lord and covereth him above all glory. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakat Kodash, by whom we do function, the name of our Father Yahweh, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, our Savior and King, in the Rakah HaKodash, which is the Holy Spirit, by whom we do function. We do all these things by them, okay, by Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And their spirit that they send to help and guide us, to nurture us, to keep us, to protect us, to help us, to cover us. Praise the Lord. Double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David, to your brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith. Keep it up to your sisters doing that, which is becoming a women. Shalom to those that are addicted unto this ministry. I say shalom. Lord's willing, you have been edified until the next time I say shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.